Hello, uh, my name is Tom Lindup. I'm COO of Velocity. Um, so obviously we're here to talk about the Velocity EIS Technology Fund. Um, there we go. Uh, we're not going to read that one. Um, so a little bit about Velocity. Uh, Velocity's first fund was actually an SEIS fund in 2016. Um, we currently have a portfolio of approximately, well, not even approximately, of 30 uh, technology-enabled businesses, that phrase that um, everyone uses and uh, is, is, is beautifully generic. Um, what does that mean in our context? It means that there is technology at the core of the business, and it's that technology which is going to drive growth. So, a little bit about velocity. Um, the founders of Velocity, three founders, all come from entrepreneurial backgrounds. What does that mean? It means that they have all successfully started, scaled, and exited multiple businesses. And um, in the context of those founders, they're all best known for their involvement with marketing. So Bill Bungay founded uh, a marketing ad advertising agency called BMB. Um, Alex Johnson uh, founded or co-founded uh, London's uh, probably largest communications uh, company, Freud's, with Matthew Freud. And uh, Rad Saxena was the marketing director of um, Red Bull. Um, in our space, at a particular point in time, marketing for the businesses that we invest in becomes almost preeminent. And that's not only in terms of activity, but that's also in terms of money spent. So marketing is very much in Velocity's DNA, and it's very much part of the value add that we provide to our investee companies. But in a way, it's wrong to focus on that, because actually we are a multidisciplinary team, and that means that we have people who specialise in B2B operations, people who specialise in B2C operations, obviously marketing, accountants, financiers, rather boring people like myself who spent 10 years as a corporate finance lawyer. Um, we, uh, we uh, the, or I should say the founders, have invested their own money in the underlying businesses, which we feel aligns our interests or the company's interests with those of our investors. Um, and we also have a slightly different structure in terms of the way in which we invest in businesses, in which we align, or sorry, we line up businesses in the course of raising a fund, get the legals. DD done during that period, we close the fund and we allocate those funds on the same day. And obviously, for those of you who are interested in carryback and things like that, that is um, of importance. So, velocity track record, there are lots of numbers on here, and some of them sort of jump out more than others. Um, I will just talk about three. In terms of the um, birth or, or the birth of velocity, this number 57 is probably most important. 57 or 57x over purple bricks represents an experience of one of our founders, Bill Bungay, who, as I mentioned, is an advertising guru. He was approached by some people in a company which was then called New Broom Limited um, and at that time had a £2 million valuation. They approached him asking if he could do their advertising for them, to which he said, no, because you can't afford my retainer but he liked them. And so he invested um, in them at that valuation uh, and, uh, and, and basically advised them up until the point and beyond that they listed on the London Stock Exchange. So that 57 is, is actually when he exited post-listing of that business. The other one, which is the largest number, is 2000X, and some of you will be pleased to hear that that actually is... Um, an exit of our chairman, Michael Whitfield, who started off as European MD at Alexander Forbes. He decided to leave or stop being an IFA in about 2003 and started Tom Thompson Online Benefits, which was or is um, in uh, one of the largest uh, uh, employee engagement and benefits distribution uh, companies in the world. Uh, and its product, Darwin, is sold in over 90 countries. He sold out in about 2016 to Mercer, 
the New York Stock Exchange listed company. And the 6.5x is actually an exit from the Velocity SEIS fund. That was done in 13 months. And uh, that's all I'm going to say on that page. So what do we look for? Um, obviously, there's quite a lot of traditional criteria that you'll see here, inventiveness, scalability, speed to market management, EIS advanced assurance, obviously being very important. But we focus on usefulness. And again, that comes down to the marketing DNA that is within Velocity, i.e., is there a dem demonstrable market demand for the product and service? Is there an obvious target audience? And is that an audience that we believe the company, with our assistance, can actually communicate with? Why do we focus on that? Well, the reason why we focus on it is because there are lots of reasons why early-stage companies fail. Some of them, obviously, fairly obvious. Um, no financing. Disharmony in the team. We've all come across that ran out of cash. But actually, the overwhelming reason why companies at this stage fail, as per the CB Insights report, is because there was actually no market need for the product or service. Uh, so I'll leave you with that thought for the moment, because I can see James is feeding me on. OK, allocation strategy, very quickly. Um, in terms of our fund that is closing on the 3rd of April, uh, we've got 17 companies that we are planning on investing in in that fund. These are those companies. There is a bias towards companies that are generating in excess of £300,000 a year revenue, um, and they will get 60% of the funds from that fund. Those companies which are in this stage are obviously the ones that are closest to Series A, at which point we will look for a partial exit. Um, we don't just obviously focus on the companies. What can we do to make your life easier? As I face pre-investment, you've got tran uh, transparency pipeline, which means that you and your clients, should you need to, can look and in interrogate the companies that we're looking to invest in. We have 100% track record for EIS relief. At the point of investment, you have your clients will have 100% tax relief on the funds invested because all the all, the, all fees are charged to the portfolio companies, and as per. Uh, 4th, 5th of April 2019, where we invested in 21 companies on those dates. Um, this year will be no different. Your investors, both for ICIS and EIS funds, will get carry back relief. Post investment, as mentioned, all funds are deployed on funds closed. Uh, we've mentioned uh, about EIS3 certificates. Uh, we think we should be able to get those to you pretty qu quickly, and we're in control of that process. And also through the Velocity portal. Um, you will have access to all the update information, both on portfolio performance and also on the underlying company performance, which means that you'll be very armed to go and speak to your clients when you choose to do so. Thank you very much.